Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the Finlagen cask strength. My last tasting was the Finlagen original and this here is now the cask strength brother to it. Um, it's same as the other, it's an NDP product. It's a single malt from the Isle of Isla, so it's one distillery. We don't know which one. Um, and it's yeah, relatively moderately priced. Uh, this year is uh, about 38 euros in Europe and depending on taxes and everything and yeah, it will be around in dollars and pounds as well, depending on the taxes. Yeah, 58% cask strength and it's a core bottling. So this bottling is always available at 58%. This makes it all really hard for the blending of this whiskey as you don't have to blend just for the taste to keep the taste profile continuous, but also to keep the alcoholic strength at the level that is on the bottle because you have to state the level on the bottle not too high and not too low because of taxes and consumer protection. So you have to have it on the bottle exactly right. Uh, that means the master blender has to blend some casts that are lower, some casts that are higher to have that alcohol and also match the uh, flavor profile, which is a yeah, difficult task. Although, here with this bottling, it probably is not that difficult because the Finlagen cask strength is pretty much uh, one direction. At least the original was one directionally and the taste of yeah, peatiness, smokiness, uh, intensity. And yeah, let's have a look how the Finlagen cask strength 58% is. 58% is a bit too hefty for me, so I'm actually gonna use a little bit of water to water it down to around 50. That's that's why I'm comfortable with. Mm, ah, and the, the nose is really smoky. I like the original. Very smoky, peat fire smoke, burned, charred chimney. Oh, very, oh, very rough, very Isla. Mm, yeah, I like it. Mm. And yeah, let's add a little bit of water. How much do I have? Uh, yeah, that should get it down to like, I don't know, 50, 52, maybe 48. Oop. Mm, and yeah, still that smoky as before. In the German take, it was a little bit less smoky as I added the water. Usually when you change the dilution in the uh, whiskey, uh, then you release more of the flavors and becomes usually becomes more flowery and sweet but uh, i would have expected more smoke that is also a common theme with i love whiskeys where you add water they become more smoky mm. Mm. Oh, this is a, a strong whiskey. It's a lot of smoke in there. Mm. It has oak in there, a bit of a pepperiness going on, although not like a sharp, hot pepperiness, more like a, a white pepper, spicy pepperness, a little bit of a marine note going on. There is more going on in this whiskey and also a lot more intensity. You feel the 50%. It's a little bit attacking on your tongue. But what I really love is what is missing. It's missing sweetness. It's missing fruitiness. Sweetness may be a nuance on the side, but this is a rough and tumble. This is a, a strong smoky whiskey that is going into the reaction of smoky. If you just want to have smoky, this is the best thing you can have for you. Like for mixing, that would be perfectly for mixing. If you just want to add a dash of smoke and you don't add that much else in there. Yeah, I like it. I really like it. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's also nice is you don't really pay for the brand that much because it's a well, very unknown brand. It has 58% cask strength and is priced at around 38, which is quite a bargain now these days for a cask.
cask strength which whiskey unfortunately no age statement no distillery statement but yeah that's what you get when you have such a, a low price if you have that with um, branded statements from a distiller you probably pay about um, upwards of 50 pounds mm, for the same liquid mm. yeah so that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time